Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Well, uh, during the past uh, while, we've been having a series of uh, videos uh, specifically uh, on the topic of uh, intrusive, transient, OCD, HOCD, negative thoughts. And I think this is number 16, perhaps. And I hope you've been enjoying them and has been finding it helpful. And I thought today perhaps I can uh, I have a little uh, short uh, reminder of uh, the concept and then leave it up to you to refer back to number one, number two, or whichever you like, but definitely six, seven, eight, and 11 must be among the ones that you give priority and take a look at. But of course, the number one, number two, three, four, five, they all have their own place and they are all helpful. And as always, uh, we continue our discussions uh, through our discussion, like the, the whole series that's how it's been. We talk about, we use an uh, example for one gender, so it will be easier for me to deliver. And then you guys can see the concept and uh, see if it's useful uh, for uh, the uh, your situations uh, for yourself. So we are focusing on uh, heterosexual, and then uh, therefore you can see the concept if it works for you. Inwardly, try to uh, analyze what I'm saying. Don't just listen to what I'm saying. Just feel and examine it as I'm talking about it. And that would give you a better understanding of what we are trying to achieve here. All right, let's get on with it. Always remember, you're not alone in this fight. You've got a lot more power than you can ever imagine. Beside all the scientific data, all the psychologists, psychotherapists, doctors, researchers that have come up with clear reports and understanding what this thing is, that is nothing more than a glitch, malfunction in the signaling system of the brain, you have a lot more power that I'm going to explain to you for a second. But the scientific end of it is very clear. I put lots of um, links down below in the description of this video that gives you access to all the doctors and researchers and psychotherapists and their findings and reports from uh, accredited universities, famous universities, researchers. And it is no secret that this thing is not what you believe or bamboozle to believe. This is very simple. It's a glitch in human brain as we humans are work in progress we're still developing only thousands of years have passed by and we have glitches like any fine machine especially when there are electrical systems involved things can go haywire and glitches needs to be repaired fixed in this case it can be fixed by our behavior and the way we treat the glitch. Because you see, there is a part of the brain that is called orbital cortex, that it tells you something is wrong when your inner system, that part of you that is you're supposed to be mindful of, the, the watcher, so to speak, or the gatekeeper, or um, your super consciousness, or the uh, wise wizard or different names but your inner true self knows that something is abnormal that particular day or whenever these thoughts or images or whatever shows up intrusive thoughts and says something suggests something and your orbital cortex gives you a signal that something is wrong singlet gyrus is supposed to work on that and makes you feel anxious because it needs to guide the system to go and do to become aware of the problem and then go and attend to what it is. Caudate nucleus which is the gear shift which is always automatic it goes and finds a problem and then shuts it down and everything clear is given and then you go about your business. Sometimes this caudate nucleus it just gets stuck. It's like not going. And you gotta go manual. You gotta actually grab the gear and change the shift before it was all automatic. Now, when it has that glitch, that's known to science now. 
The only thing that the only person that doesn't know about it is the one that is actually being subjected to it. Us. Suggestion, a thought, image is showed up and we don't know about how the brain works and how it malfunctions, anything about it. We don't know how it's put together. We don't know about our psyche. Then we get bamboozled. We think it's a deity. Oh, it's coming from the outer space. It's a decree, something that I'm not privy to. Something is beyond me. It's telling me I'm going to be turning gay. My genes are changing. They have a f delay fuse and thought that was never around when I was being put together suddenly now has the power to change my genetics and my sexual inclination. These are all things because we are not aware of how the brain works and what malfunctions can happen into it. And we love who we are and we want to be who we are as we've always been and we're always afraid of losing what we have like we've been conditioned since childhood anything we wanted we had to beg for it we have to be submissive to it ask to make sure that uh, you know other whoever was in charge know that okay we don't have any power please give it to me but here if you know about the facts you don't have to feel bamboozled and believe the thought or suggestion or image that popped up in your head these thoughts and suggestions and images pop up from nowhere. The science knows it. It actually pops up from nowhere. Baseless. Has no existence. But we who don't know how this brain can malfunction, we think we are perfect. Therefore, we are surprised. If something happens, it happens in my head. I'm perfect. I'm perfectly functional. So it must be true. But if you become mindful of it and understand this is an attack that happens on any good system, even rockets going to the moon, they have malfunctions. The technology has malfunctioned. Electrical systems have malfunctioned. We are living in the world that is a relative world. It's not an absolute universe. Everything malfunctions. Nothing is perfect. But when it does malfunction in our head, we are so arrogant that we think we are perfect, so whatever happens in there is the truth. No, it's not. We are like anything else. We have uh, statics, we have uh, residues, feces, <laughs> and our biological system gets rid of its own uh, residues and feces, and brain has its own uh, residues and feces exhaust that it has to get rid of. And sometimes they get all tangled up and they make a mess. We are not supposed to fall for it. So this is all clear for you. You gotta rely on your super consciousness. You gotta rely on your mindfulness. You gotta remind yourself who you are, what you are, what you've always been. You gotta be wiser and smarter and assertive and aggressive to the attack of the unknown and to call the enemy for what it is, recognize it as an enemy. And every time that shows up, rely on your mindfulness and continue your way with confidence and without being bamboozled. And don't panic about it. These things, this shift, the cardioid nucleus, will be fixed once you keep behaving the way we're talking about it here. Not pay attention to it, recognize it, but do your own thing as you always did. And eventually it learns that this is not acceptable, this malfunction. It has to go back into the right, proper design that it's supposed to be programmed to behave in a certain way. And it will. By your behavior, you will reprogram it. You re will rewire the brain, and it's called neuroplasticity. Uh, that's a science. And the repetitious of it, every time it shows up, you do the same thing, you behave it in the same way, you don't believe it, you call it for what it is, you rely on your mindfulness, and you see the enemy as it is, you call it, it's not me, this is OCD, it's not me, it's intrusive thoughts, it's not me, it's a thought, thought is not me, it's a brain, I'm not the brain, brain is not me, and you separate yourself from it as that is the fact, and therefore you save yourself as you've always been and not being tarnished by these statics. And eventually after a while, the statics don't stick on you anymore they will naturally be fixed 
and it'll go back to automatic. And every time that shows up, you do the same thing because now you have become the mechanic of your machine. You're aware and wise to how this system works and how it malfunctions. And therefore, you have no fear of it and you're not surprised by it. You just continue your way and you will have a wonderful, happy and balanced life as you should and as you deserve it. So be good to yourself, to the others, and be confident and steady as she goes. I'll talk to you soon.